everyone, my name is Cherby and I run the Instagram page CD Lately where I talk about all things beauty and skincare. So today I'll be showing you my everyday makeup routine which is what I would say um, natural looking, dewy, but also mask friendly. Um, the first thing I like to do is apply concealer. The concealer that I've absolutely been loving is the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer. I like to work in light layers to make sure that it doesn't cake up and it looks as skin-like as possible. I'll be going in with a damp beauty blender. Basically just bouncing it on top of the places where I applied the concealer. Just to make sure it's all meshed in. Next up are the, the cream blush and bronzers. So, for the cream bronzer, I've absolutely been loving the Fenty Cheeks Out bronzer. Um, I like to apply cream products first just to set a base because I didn't apply any foundation so um, this way the powder products on top will, um, will just sit on top nicely. Next up is my cream blush. Actually no, just the blush duo that I've been loving. It's the Patrick Ta She's So LA Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. So I apply it on the apples of my cheeks and then focus the color there. Um, next I'll be following up with a powder bronzer. I like to layer um, my products because it just stays longer so when I'm wearing a mask it won't transfer, there's less chances of, tra of transferring because the cream bronzer that I put on was matte so the one that I'll be putting on top is the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light um, Bronzer this one just makes my skin look sun-kissed and I find that if you just like uh, apply makeup on specific parts of your face again, that'll have less chances of transferring okay, next up, I will be setting my under eyes using the Pat McGrath under eye setting powder. Tap off the excess and then apply it underneath your eyes. Next up, I'm doing my eye makeup. My eye makeup is pretty simple. I like to go in with a one and done eyeshadow, as I would like to call it. And the one that I've been using is the Julian Dempsey Lid Tint in Taupe. It's like my eyelids, but um, I like to follow it up with a soft winged liner. I use the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Whiskey. Um, you'll see that it's basically just a back and forth between the pencil, the brush, and most importantly, a Q-tip. So what I like to do is that I like to apply the liner as close to the lash line as possible. So this is when I like to smudge out and create the actual wing. So at this point um, in my routine, I like to set it all in with a loose setting powder. So the powder that I've been using is the By Terry Hyaluronic setting powder. The way I like to do it is that I basically like to apply a tiny bit on the lid, use a big fluffy brush, tap off the excess, and I like to focus it on the mask area. So here, tap it on. I'm gonna set it with the MAC Fix Plus. And just bounce my sponge on top to make sure that the makeup is all meshed together. I like to go in with powder blush. Next up, I'll be doing my brows. For that, I like to use the Refi Brow Sculpt. I brush my brows upwards and then when it comes to the tail, I go down like that. I'll be putting on mascara. 
So the mascara that I've been using is the Future Lash Mascara by Victoria Beckham. I like to focus the mascara at the very base. The last two steps actually are highlighter. So the highlighter that I've been using is the Chanel Balm Essentiel. Mostly just apply it on my nose, so the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, and my cheekbones. Okay, the very last step is a lippy. So I know that we're wearing masks. <laughs> some people still wear it, some people don't. I definitely still wear lippies. I feel very incomplete without it. <laughs> I think that for today, I will be using the Giorgio Armani Lip Maestro 102 in Sandstone. That's my entire makeup routine done. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you for watching.